So about a year ago, Campy Saint Jean had to cut uh, about 20% of their courses due to severe underfunding. And um, as a result of that, um, because so many courses were cut, a lot of Campy Saint Jean students are unable to finish their degrees completely in French. And so I would be an example of one of those students who, you know, in my second year of studies, I'm already having to take courses in English at North Campus, um, which is the Anglophone campus of the University of Alberta. And so these funding issues have been in play for about a year now, um, and that's where we find ourselves today. Um, in April 2021, the federal government announced uh, $121.3 million in its budget to be allocated towards post-secondary institutions in minority language communities. And so as a Francophone campus in Alberta, the Campus Saint Jean is eligible for that funding. Um, however, there are some difficulties attached to accessing that funding because um, we require uh, financial support uh, on the behalf of the province of Alberta as well as the federal government. And so um, that is the situation of the Campus Saint Jean. But what concerns me the most as a student is the fact that uh, the majority of our students are unable to finish their degree programs completely in French. And so that is what's concerning and that is why uh, on Monday, June 7th, we launched the Save Saint Jean, relaunched the Save Saint Jean campaign um, in direct collaboration with the Canadian or French Canadian Association of Alberta, um, which is a lobbying group that advocates for Francophone education in Alberta. And so we're working really closely with them to try and um, make sure that the student voice in all of this is heard. And um, often when we're talking about, you know, like federal and provincial, um, like political disagreements or uh, funding in general, the student voice can be lost. And so as members of the AUFSJ, which is the faculty association for the Campus Saint Jean, our concern is making sure that student voices are heard and that the impacts that underfunding has on students right now is being expressed and heard and understood by the public. In the past few weeks, we've been meeting with student to groups um, across the country. So that's, you know, student associations from different universities. Um, for example, we, what, we met with uh, students from Laurentian University, Francophone students from Laurentian University who find themselves in a similar situation as a Francophone institution in an English major majority province. Um, so we've been meeting with student groups um, just to try and create collaboration and partnerships between other Francophone students in Canada. Um, but it does go beyond that. We've also been meeting a lot with English students as well because like our issue in general really goes to the heart of bilingualism in Canada and like preserving bilingualism specifically in Western Canada. And so we've been working with um, English speaking students at the University of Alberta. We've been working with English speaking students in other areas of the province and in other areas of the country. Um, a lot of the other things we've been doing so far is meeting with um, different uh, political representatives in Ottawa uh, to try and make sure that there's general awareness about the Campus Saint Jean situation and the general importance of the Campus Saint Jean to Alberta's Francophone community and to the Francophone community in Western Canada in general. So in the next few weeks and months we're hoping to continue these meetings, continue to work with other student groups, um, really to make sure that uh, you know there's a general recognition in Canada for the importance of Francophone education and the importance importance of preserving bilingualism in general, uh, specifically in Western Canada, but I mean in the country as a whole.